Wanaharakati wa mazingira wametaka swala la mazingira na mabadiliko ya tabia nchi kujumuishwa kama somo la pekee kwenye mtaala wa CBC. Wanaharakati hao wanasema kuwa wanafunzi wanapaswa kufunzwa kuhusu muhimu wa kutunza mazingira kupitia upanzi na ukuzaji wa miti wakiwa bado wachanga. Walikuwa wanazungumza wakati wa kutoa hamasa ya upanzi wa miti inayozingatia kuongezea hewa safi eneo la Koilot County ya Nandi. Wenyeji wa eneo la Kulan katika kaunti ndogo ya Ladab wanadai kuwa ardhi yao kubwa imesalia bila miti ya kiasili kutokana na uharibifu wa mazingira. Wakiongozwa na gavana wa kaunti hiyo na Rifjama na bunge wa Dadaab Farah Maalim, viongozi hao wanataka mashirika ya kutoa msaada kwa wakimbizi kutafuta mbinu mbadala ya kawi ili kukomesha utumizi wa kuni. The other unfortunate story is that also the international community in particular the refugee related you know organizations like UHCR, WFP and the others have also failed us terribly because um, right now we are facing a situation whereby these people, the refugees, are cutting our trees because they use them for firewood and for shelter construction. The refugees are also killing our wildlife, particularly the giraffes, because they are not given enough protein or rather they actually they are not given any kind of meat in the, in the food that they are given to them. So in both cases, it's us now who have been left to basically suffer all the loss. It's almost becoming extinct. So we are saying we will not accept this anymore. We want to call on the UN and we want to call on all other interested parties to make sure that there's an alternative to wood fuel for the refugees. We will not also accept the, any more cutting of trees. He inafuatia ukamato kwa wakimbizi zaidi ya tisini walipofumaniwa na wenyeji na wanaharakati wa mazingira wakisafirisha kuni na miti ya ujenzi kwa mikokoteni kuelekea katika kambi zao. Wakati sisi tunatekeleza hiyo wajibu wakimbizi ambaye tuko jirani wameamua usiku mchana wafieke eh, mazingira. Hapo nyuma yangu vile mnaona environment imeharibiwa. Na sio wengine ni wakimbizi walikuwa wamefanya hiyo maneno na kwa sasa e, tuko na wanaume tisini na sita ambaye tumeweka wakorokoroni na gari ya punda pia tume confiscate wenyeji wamea hapa kulinda msitu iliyobaki na kuitaka serikali kufungua fisi za huduma za msitu katika sehemu hiyo na kwa ajili ya askari zaidi ili kulinda rasimali ya msitu iliyosalia because what we have been facing is the deforestation people are cutting down trees and this is not a problem that have just started yesterday or a few weeks this this has been a trend that was going on in the last few years but what they used to do is they used to cut any tree before and that they used to make charcoal so they can sell but right now they have done away and they completely finished the other trees now they have come to acacia and that's one of the most important uh, tree we have in, in, uh, in across the, the county uh, the okay. continued uh, process has really uh, converted oh, yeah. another is green area into a desert and so soon if we don't take an action this will be a vast, uh, vast desert. desert yeah. yeah. So this we cannot, uh, we cannot accept. And so I'll take. Uh, thank you very much, sir. I will take. I'll take action. Faisal Abdurrahman, Runinga Citizen, Kotoka County, Ndogo, Yadadab, County, Garissa.